Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a naturalist that works for Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. Today I am at Phillips Pond because I'm looking for our animal of the week, the green frog. Let's go see if we can find any. <gasps> Did you guys see that? I think that was a splash from the animal that we are looking for. Hmm, let's see if we can find it. Yes, there it is, the green frog. You can find green frogs in most aquatic habitats, including along the shorelines of lakes and ponds, in permanent wetlands, swamps, marshes, and streams. Green frogs are one of the most abundant frogs in New York State. Despite their name, they aren't always just green. Many have a green head, but their backs may be gray, brown, or a dark green color. One of their most distinctive features are the ridges that run down their backs. When on land, green frogs can breathe with their lungs, but oxygen also enters their body through their skin. So when they are in the water, they can breathe only through their skin. Green frogs lay eggs in the shallow water among vegetation throughout the summer. Embryos will develop into tadpoles in about 30 days. Tadpoles will live only in the water eating plant material. They will undergo metamorphosis or transformation into an adult frog anywhere from three months to two years. A few key features of their metamorphosis is that the tadpole will grow legs absorb its tail, and form lungs for breathing on land. Adult frogs are considered opportunistic feeders, which means they will eat whatever small animals they can find. This includes insects, spiders, crayfish, and other crustaceans, newts, minnows, small snakes, and snails. Green frogs are considered an indicator species which means their presence in an aquatic habitat indicates that the area does not have many toxins or pollutants. Their skin is porous, so they cannot live in a habitat with high levels of toxins in the air or water. Thanks for joining me at the pond today, everyone. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can check out our website, baltimorewoods.org, or follow us on social media. We'll see you next time.